not us versus them. I think we're all interconnected. We want to help build bridges in society instead of walls. That's okay. We want to help build bridges instead of walls, but a value shift to me must take place in order to move to a better society that we are referring to. Supporting the system is a problem. We do it, I do it, everybody does it. If we can get a large amount of people that want to get out of the system, the monetary system, along with the value shift, we can definitely do it. Building a society as sustainable as possible with the current, te with the current technology we have today, we can also do that. It's not a machine takeover. It's freeing humans from jobs they hate, that are boring and also don't contribute to their life. Plus, I don't think machines are the danger, we are, with our value system. If you think technology does not improve your life, try going a week without using it. Whether it be a refrigerator, a car, public transportation, a hot shower in the morning, a stove, a cell phone to talk to your loved ones, I think you guys get what I'm saying. Sick and dying people are good in the monetary system because it generates more profit for companies. Breast cancer, Lou Gehrig's disease, diabetes, colon cancer. Are you aware of how much money these diseases generate? Do you really think a cure would be available to the public to save their lives? That would hurt GDP tremendously. This economy would hurt even more. Therefore, you probably won't see it available for the public, ever, even if it saves people's lives. But hey, that's the way the monetary system works. You have to create problems in order to create profit. It's a symptom of this monetary system that we also support. To me, the monetary system is outdated. For individuals that wonder what they can do in the chapter to support this direction, I recommend, be, I recommend to be active in the chapter and start communicating these ideas to people around you. Do what you can. If you can't change people's understandings and values, you can't change the society. To me, the critical mass we refer to is a value shift. Seek not to change the world, but choose to change your mind about the world you are currently living in. We're focusing on the people, not how much profit you can make from the people. Here, you have a chance to become something much bigger than yourself. And if you guys can just think about this, it might be kind of unrealistic to most of you, but what would you do with your life if you didn't have to work? And that's my introduction to this, I guess. Thank you. Thank you.